Hello, today we're going to learn how to make my harness. I call it the plume harness. This can be made to fit any size um, and I will show you how to adjust it for multiple sizes. But also even the size I'm showing in here can fit up to I believe about 34 D cup. I'm using medium four weight yarn for this and I'm going to be using a size F hook or 3.75 millimeters. This is my go-to hook, so a lot of my designs will be um, made using an F hook. So first we're going to uh, attach the yarn to the hook. And you're going to chain six. Then you're going to slip stitch into the very first chain you did and create a circle. Then we're going to chain three, and you're going to do 23 double crochets into the circle. The first chain three counts as a, a DC, so you'll have 24 total. So just do 23 actual double crochets into this circle here. Once you've uh, got all 23 double crochets into the circle, you're going to make a slip stitch into the first chain three. It might be a little tight, but you should be able to get to it. Then you're going to go ahead and chain three again. And then we're going to be doing, um, I think it's called the puff stitch. We're going to be skipping um, every other like uh, double crochet. So skip the first one and go through the second one and be sure to yarn over first, I didn't mention that, sorry, um, and then pull the yarn through so you, it kind of looks like this on your hook. And then you're going to yarn over again and you're going to go through and pull the yarn through. And make sure you're pulling up so that you, you're getting enough space. Yarn over again and pull through. You're going to do this five times. So I have three now. This is my fourth time. Pull the yarn through, and then my fifth time, yarn over, go under, pull the yarn through, and then you're going to yarn over again and pull all the yarn through all of the the things you made. That's why you want to kind of pull up so it doesn't get stuck. Um, you can look up how to do a puff stitch. Uh, sorry if my instructions were not super clear, but please go back and rewatch. And I'll also have some text on the screen to help you out with that. But I'll, I'll repeat it again. Before we get to our next chain um, puff stitch, we're going to chain three, and we're still skipping every other chain. So the, the stitch right after the puff, we're going to skip. We're going to go to the next one, and we're just going to do one single crochet. Like that. And this will be a repeating pattern. It'll be puff stitch, chain three, single crochet, then chain three again, and we're going to skip the chain and do our puff stitch. Remember to yarn over before you insert your hook and pull the yarn through and pull it up high. Remember we do this four times, so that was the first time. So yarn over, go through the stitch, pull the yarn through, pull it up. That's two. Then yarn over, insert your hook, pull the yarn through. That's three. Yarn over. The yarn through, pull up four, and then one more, pull through, pull up, yarn over, pull through all of the the loops basically, and you have another puff stitch. So we're just going to continue this pattern all the way around, and once we get to the end, I'll show you what to do. So just keep repeating this until you're about to. You'll, you'll end up um, chaining three and ending on a single crochet. And I'll, I'll meet you there to guide you through the next step. So you should have six little puffs. Um, that'll let you know you've done the right thing. 
So you remember you're ending on a chain three, and I'm just gonna single crochet right next to that beginning chain three. There might not be a chain for you to go into, but this is just what I do. I just stick it close by. It doesn't make any difference whatsoever. And then I stick it into the first chain three, and I just do a little slip stitch. And that's the end of your flower. If you're using a solid color, um, what I do is I just chain three from right here, and I um, double crochet right into the chain three space. Um, you'll kind of see what I mean as when I attach the color, and I show it thick like this. But I, I normally make these only in a solid color, but I'm um, doing it in multiple colors so that it's easier. So in this case, I am um, tying off and uh, attaching another piece of yarn. But normally I wouldn't do that part. Um, I'll try to leave additional information about this in the description if that's confusing. We're going to work on our straps, and after you've attached your new color or same color, just chain three um, and do two double crochets, a one in, two double crochets in each chain three space. So you're going to do two double crochets in that chain three space there. You're going to skip over the single crochet, and then you're just going to do two more double crochets. And this is um this this is basically the thickness of the strap. After this, it gets pretty easy. We're just going to chain three, and we're going to be working in rows. So chain three, turn your work, and then just do do double crochets across in each double crochet that you just made. So like a very mini scarf. And you're going to do this um, until you reach your desired length. Now I said in the beginning that this particular one I'm making can fit up to 34D and that is about 14 rows of these double crochets. So I've already got two rows on the hook and I'm just going to add 12 more. Um, you might need more or less rows depending on how you'd like your fit to be but this will, uh, it, will it won't look like it but this is very stretchy and it will be able to go around the whole like uh, like boob cup. So once you have your desired length, remember I did 14 rows, it's gonna look something like this. You're gonna see um, that it ended up like on the opposite side. Um, this will happen if you use an even number. It it'll vary but this is what I do to get to the other side um, so I can continue this piece. So. At the end of your row, if you're like me and you're on the opposite end, you're going to chain one and then I'm just going to slip stitch through every stitch across. If you chain like 15 and, and you're at the end, you're, you're not going to do this, um, you're just going to do the next step after this because um, we're creating a triangle here and so the next piece of the triangle um, is going to start from the end of the row that we just finished. So you're going to chain the, um, seven. Chain seven once you reach the end. Whether you did slip stitches or not, you're going to chain seven. See, because we're going to go down here. And then you're going to skip the first three chains. It's going to count as like a chain three space in a row. And then you're just going to single crochet. I'm sorry. You're going to double crochet into the to those next four rows. So one, two, three, and then one more double crochet into that last chain that you did. And this is just going to be the top of another row of uh, double crochets. We're going to do 14 double crochets again. Just go ahead and chain three and turn, remember to turn at the end of each chain and we're just doing double crochets across until we have the exact same length as the other uh, little strap piece we just did. So for me that's going to be 14 rows. Just make sure they're even um, because, I mean like an even number, they match because this is a triangle. It's going to be an equilateral triangle.
So um, you can kind of see how this is gonna look. There's kind of like a little divot um, in the straps. Okay, I hope this is not gonna confuse you, but I changed the color. I did the exact same thing, I just changed the color because I wanted um, every strap to be a different color. But, um, so as you can see, we have two completed straps now. They're both the same length. And once again, we are on the wrong side um, of where we need to be before we can start our next, our final third uh, strap. So I'm gonna chain one again, and I'm going to slip stitch in every chain across or every stitch across so I get to the opposite end just like we did at the top one and then throw it at the end um, make sure that your piece isn't all twisted up like mine is right now um, that will happen kind of easily with this project so you just kind of have to keep an eye on it but they should lay kind of flush and flat you should be able to tell that it's um, not twisted so then go ahead and go ahead and chain four at the end of your row here I mean sorry chain seven chain seven just like we did at the top and then we're going to skip the first three chains and we're going to do four double crochets across into every single chain that we just did like that okay and um, we're gonna continue and do the same thing we did for the last two straps so just chain three and then double crochet across and then um, once you have your the, the amount of rows that you need remember I'm doing 14 I will show you how to attach this to the little center little flower piece so here we have the third and final piece just like the top you want to make sure that this did not get twisted in the process which it most likely did so just Kind of twist it, make sure it kind of lays flush. Um, and then I'm going to attach this in between, uh, like two in between two of the puff stitches, so right into that. You know how we started when we did the uh, the double crochets into the the chain three spaces. We're going to attach this with some just some slip stitches. Um, right into the chain uh, three spaces. So I'm going to do two single crochets or a chain. I'm going to slip stitch two of the uh, the stitches onto, into one chain three space and then I'm going to slip stitch the other two into the other chain three space. So then you can see how it'll look. Um, and after this, we're just going to tie off the yarn, but I just want to get you, give you an idea that this is what the, the boot cup will look like. Just like simple triangle. Here, I'm just going to show you real quick, like how you can see it'll fit over your, your cup. And once we put on the ties and stuff, um, it'll stretch over nicely. So I'm going to show you the other side, uh, how to do the other cup, which I won't be showing too much of it because it's identical almost to uh, the first side we just did. I just want to reiterate some a couple of things. One about attaching the yarn if you're using um, other colors. If you're doing a solid color also, you would still have to attach this yarn because there's no way to keep it seamless. I'm sure there is, but that's not how I do it. So just go ahead and attach the yarn, chain three like we did in the beginning and then do two double crochets for each chain three space so a total of four double crochets so two in one and then two in the other and you're just going to go up and do your rows um, like how we did obviously same number of rows that you did on the other cup only on this side you will probably depending on however many rows you have um, you won't have to do the slip stitches to get to the end you'll probably already just be at the end of, uh, or on the right side of where you need to be so you can see how this side is going to look. And I did 14 rows on this side, so if you remember, um, I'm already where I need to be. So I don't need to slip stitch across. So, so I just have to go ahead and just chain 7 and just do 
my rows down. Like I said, no slip stitching. Same with this side. Um, it's just it's a little simpler. Just one less extra step. Um, but yeah, that's basically the whole design. Um, at least for the cup part. I'm gonna show you how to do the ties, but just remember to slip stitch uh, the third uh, strap piece onto the center, just like we did the opposite side. If you have any questions about this, please leave me one in the comments or email me. Um, I'll be happy to uh, help you. So here we have the finished plume harness, or, or at least the finished, you know, the main body. This is the harness. It's very simple. Um, and I'm going to show you now how I attach the ties. I just take two strands here, and I will slip stitch them or, or um, tie them on to the hook. And I'm going to chain about 98 to 100. <laughs> uh, chains. This this is gonna be the first section that's gonna it's gonna wrap around the neck. You can take a closer uh, look at uh, some pictures. The the first picture I put on here in the beginning of the video, but I also have pictures on how this looks on my Instagram. You can see them both on my Instagram at Eurythmic and my Instagram at on the black hand side. And once I have my chain, um, my chain 98, usually 100. I'm going to go into just the corner of the top of one of my little triangle sides, you can see here. I'm just going to slip stitch this on. Then I'm going to chain four or three. Chain, I think I chained, oh yeah, chain four. And then I'll slip stitch it into the other corner. So you can see this long chain here, but it is going to be the one that's going to wrap around the neck. Um, from this corner, we're going to do about 200 chains. This will vary because everybody's body is different, but for me, um, to get the look where it wraps around your torso, um, and my size, I chain about 200, maybe 250. Once you've got your super duper long chain, um, this part can be tricky only because things can get all topsy-turvy, but you basically want to stick uh, the end of that long chain into the opposite corner end of the top. Uh, so into the orange part here, and then and then you want to stick it also into the the second corner, so that it it, it straps across like the chain four we did. And when we're doing it this way, so it can be adjustable, so you could pull it tighter or make it looser. So it kind of looks like that. So then. You're going to go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. It's going to be slightly different the way we connect the uh, chain 4. It'll be a little more twisted. I haven't figured out a, a good way to actually um, connect this and then chain the 4 across. But I guess you can go on backwards here like I just did. Um, like flip it over and then attach it. If that makes sense, or based on what I'm doing, hopefully it makes sense. And then you're just gonna do the same amount of chains um, again, and, and then slip it through uh, the little the corner on the opposite end, and, and that's basically it. Just make sure to double check that nothing got twisted in the process, or when you put it on, everything will lay kind of flush. So that's that's it. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. Once again, please message me. If you have any questions or leave a comment, um, thank you so much for watching. Bye.